So let's say you're building a presentation or a website and you think you found the almost perfect picture. The problem is there's something in the background you need to get rid of. One of the tools that I use to quickly remove background from photos is Canva. So I've navigated to my account and I'm going to click start designing so that I can show you how to remove the background. Canva has several different templates you can use for your canvas size, and the only difference is the pixel ratio. So for this example, I'm just gonna pick logo, which is a 500 by 500 pixel ratio. The first thing you need to do is add the photo to Canva. Now you can do this by dragging and dropping it from your computer onto the canvas. When you do that, the photo will go to the upload section in the left-hand navigation bar. The sample photo we're gonna use, I have used before, so I'm gonna to go to the upload section and drag and drop it to the canvas. If you want, you can resize the photo or right click and say set image as background. There's really no right or wrong here. It's just a matter of how big do you want the picture to be. When you're ready, select the image and go to edit image at the top of the screen. And here you can see the background remover option. Now you see this little crown, which means this is a paid Canva Pro feature. If you have a paid Canva subscription and you still don't see background remover, go to search effects and type in background and that will pull it up for you. Now that I found it, I will select background remover and Canva is going to do a little bit of magic and it's going to isolate the main part of the image, which in this case is a photo of me. It does a pretty good job and you can see that the lines are fairly clean. However, there's a tiny little section above my shoulder where my hair and the chair that I'm sitting in are very close in color. Now I can clean that up a little bit by using the erase tool. When you click on erase, you see that the brush size is automatically set to a 25. Now given the tiny area that I need to remove, that's a little bit large. So I can adjust the size of the tool to make it smaller so that I won't risk removing too much of the photo. Now, I'm not a professional photo editor, so I'm not always perfect at getting the exact place I want, but it's good enough for most of the projects I'm working on. Now, just for the sake of showing all options, if there's a part of the photo that you do want to keep, you can use the restore tool and draw on the canvas to bring back a piece of the photo that you still want to see. Now in this case, I don't actually want any of the background, so I'm going to remove it again and accept the changes. Now I have a photo of just me, which I can resize and use it to add to whatever project I'm working on. So as an example of how you might finish out the project, I have the picture of just me, and then I'm gonna go to elements and select a photo of flowers and make that the background image. And then I can resize the photo so it looks like I am sitting in a field of flowers at sunset and you don't see my desk or any of the mess that was behind me in the original photo. If you don't have Canva Pro, there's a link below where you can get a free trial and check out this tool to see if it's something you would like to use. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.